Power BI is a reporting service from Microsoft that allows you to connect to your Microsoft PPM environment and provide interactive visualizations with self-service BI capabilities. In our organization, we track the location of all of our projects so these can be displayed easily on a map. And I can click on a specific location to see all the projects there. In this case, we have seven projects in Phoenix and it looks like I need to investigate some work and cost overruns on a couple of them. We can also get an overview of what types of projects we are doing. As you can see, 75% of our projects are software development, but I also have some production support, infrastructure, and enterprise projects. Some are in the proposal and selection phase, which means we're still deciding whether to move forward with them, and the active projects are either in the planning, execution, or closing phase. From a cost perspective, we can see that most of the money is spent on software development, which is no big surprise. And we can also track the projects with the most cost variance. It looks like our AA Tenant Renewal project is sitting at 70% complete with a cost variance of $234,000. Similarly for work, we can track where we have variance and if I select the troubled projects, we can see the ones where project managers have raised a red flag. It looks like the top two are sponsored by Joe Gibbs, so I should probably go talk to him. A commonly requested view is the portfolio level Gantt chart, where at a glance we can see where projects fall and what their statuses are. In this case, we've colored the Gantt bars by sponsor. For a more detailed view, we can drill into a specific project schedule to see the summary or the milestone chart. The natural language option allows executives to help themselves to information. For example, show count of projects by project KPI as pi is how the graphic we clicked on earlier was created. Show project name by cost variance by department highlights which projects have the most variance and which departments they fall under. To make this one stand out a bit more, I'll change the visualization to a stacked bar chart and turn on data labels. This clearly illustrates that the majority of our overruns are in engineering and IT. And if I like this chart, I can pin it to my dashboard so it's always available. This reporting experience works very well on mobile devices. In the native iPad app, I can click on Total Issues and then open the report from here. Under Filters, I can then choose to view a specific project or filter on something else. This carries over well to phones and is very easy to navigate. With Power BI, you can also push data into your PowerPoint presentations with live tiles. Here we have a commonly used monthly performance review template Let's create a presentation from that. As we run through the slides, the content will automatically update from our Power BI dashboards so we have the most up-to-date information available to us. Here, we have a summary of our year to date with the count of projects and summary of work performance. We also show the KPI and project type pie charts. Next is projects by location issues summary, risks log, costs by department, and cost variance by project. And anytime there is a table, we can scroll to see all the available information. To learn more about how we can get your organization up and running with Power BI for Microsoft PPM, please go to our website and select the contact option.